Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video session, I'm going to cover the concept of if, elif, and else statement in Python. I will show you these three programs. Program number one that will use the concept of if, elif, and else statement. Program number two nested if, elif, and else statement. And program number three also use the concept of if, elif, and else with logical operators in Python. Let's start the session. Question number one, what will be the output of the following code? I have given a code that is temp equal to 25. If temp less than 10, print cold. L if temp greater than 25, then print hot. L if temp less than 25, then print average. Else print perfect. Here I have used if, L if, and else concept. Let's see how it will work. First of all, the statement number one temp equal to 25 there is an assignment statement 25 is assigned to be a variable name temp next on line number two there is a condition if temp is less than 10 first of all it will check the given condition if this condition is true then the following of if statement will be execute that is on line number three we will check if temp less than 10 value of temp is 25 25 is less than 10 that is not correct okay then line number three will be ignored now it will move to line number four l if l if temperature greater than 25 no condition is temperature greater than 25 25 is greater than 25 this condition also wrong this condition is not correct because temperature value is 25 but 25 is not greater than 25 next one i have written temp less than 25 value of temp is 25 25 is less than 25 this condition is also wrong okay this condition is not true then it will move to the last statement without checking any condition then else part will be executed and the in the else part i have written print perfect it will shows only one output that is perfect in this way you can implement if l if l if and else else means so many statements so many conditions you can write it right now how many choices how many options i have written i have written four choices that is one is gold hot average and perfect in this way you can apply millions of options next program number two is write a program that get a number from user you will get a number from user between 1 to 999 and shows that how many digits contains the entered number for example if you will enter 544 this number contains three digits and if you will enter 54 it will show this number this digit contains two digits i have written a statement no equal to e value input enter the number input is used to get the user defined input and e value is used to get the integer value next i have written if no is greater than 1000 or no is less than one then print invalid entry if you will enter post 2000 invalid entry if you will enter minus one you are going to enter minus one minus two it will also shows invalid entry now i have written in else in the else part i will check if no is greater than 100 if number is greater than 100 or even equal to 100 then how many digit it will contains print this number contains three digits and if no is greater than equal to 10 then i can write print this number this number contains two digits else last one is if none of the above condition will true then it will shows the else part in the else part i'm going to write this number contain this number contain only one digit okay now now i want to run the program first of all if i will run 1000 then it will shows me this number contains three digits why it shows three digit 1000 should be not a part of this here i will write and no greater than equal to 1000 because i don't want n 1000 if i will write no 1000 it will shows me invalid entry and when i will run it 988 this number contains three digits okay if i will write 58 this number contains two digits one and two okay and if i will write only five this number contains only one digit this is the program
write a program that gets three numbers a b and c from user and shows that which number is greater a equal to e value enter the value of a i have to write input input enter the value of a and i will copy paste control c control v control v b and c here i will also change the message with b and c now here i will check if a greater than b and a greater than c then i will write a message print a is greater number a is the greater number and if no i want to check when b is greater if b is greater b greater than a it should be b greater than a and b should be greater than c then i can say print then i can say b is greater i will copy paste these two statement control c and control v i will write no if c is greater c should be greater than a and c is should be greater than b then I will write C is greater. If none of the above condition is true, then I will write else. Then I will write else. Maybe, for example, these three numbers are equal. Else, print, else, print, else, all numbers are equal. Okay. Now, from further, you can categorize this. Suppose A and B are equal, C is not equal. Suppose C and B are equal, A is not equal. Further, you can categorize this. I want to run this program. First of all, I want to say A is equal 10. A is, sorry, A is greater than 10. 5, 2, it will show A is the greater number. Or oh, B will greater B. Value of A is 2. Value of B is 10. Value of C is 3. B is greater. Okay, if I want to see C is greater than 1, 2, 3, C is the greater number. And if I will say all numbers are equal, suppose value of 2, 2, 2, then it shows me all numbers are equal. Okay, this is the program. Okay, this program contains what it will contains concept of concept of if l if and else along the logical operator thanks for if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you jazakallah khair